Welcome to another video. Actually, I wanted to film something else that I will slightly delay until later today. But filming this other, I found this old Apple hockey puck mouse that I guess very few people liked. This came together with my used Apple G4 Cube and I think it worked initially. And uh, once when I used it to test some system, it stopped working as far as I remember. So I took this apart. These are the mouse pieces here. I can show this in slightly more detail when I reassemble it in case it works again. And it looks like this original cable is somehow broken because the first most pins, this is ground and the first actual pins, apparently ground and data plus or minus, do not appear to have contact. So maybe this cable just broke or I don't know what. And as most of the Apple keyboards came with some extension cord, I cut this extension cord in half and will try to um, Solder this to the pins there and see if it works with a new cable, so stay tuned. So this is <coughs> previously crimped. I free here with this pocket knife by lifting up this plastic noses here. which obviously as usual works way better without filming it. So I think the two in the center of the data, when I measured with this I.O. thing here from an old PC, the two working ones were the two right ones, which matched with the colors. So I guess uh, I will try to just use the color coding from this. The original ones here were crimped. I think this cannot be undone so nicely. However, I will just solder the cable to this for test. In case it works, I also will try already to get this Plastic thing off, yeah, comes off good. As a new one here is smaller, but this doesn't matter so much. Yeah, so I just saw it doesn't fit in so nicely with the solder on it, so let's solder all of them very space efficiently. This is a PCB. This goes in here. This is my soldering. And let's see what happens if we plug it in. And there indeed is a Apple USB mouse. So I will assemble this again. Yeah, now it's gone. So this was this mouse. I have no other Apple mouse on it right now. So I will assemble this again and then we will see that it hopefully works again. It's of course interesting that this cable broke. I really wonder where it's a plug or what, whatever. Of course, it's not the very best time spent because I think most people hated this mouse. But I had it 10 years in the crap Halfley defect box. So it's of course nice to have a working mouse again, although it may not be the most ergonomically friendly and loved by most folks. So which part came where? Is this upside down? Okay, I shortly play with the plastic pieces and then retune it in a moment. So I finally have this in there. This rubber thing is a little bit hard to press back. It's it so angled. Maybe this is where the original cable broke as this cable is really angled there. And um, yeah, also this is cable is a little bit tight with my soldering joints there, but that's what it is now. And um, how was it at first the screws or first this? Oh, the screws were there, so this. Yeah, need to press it a little bit. I need to sort it a little bit better in that it is really straight and then we screw it back together. So I had to solder one of these contacts more compact, otherwise the PCB was not fitting very nicely aligned in there. Then uh, this plastic halves just come together and the stuff is fixed with two good screws, not glued like the, all the new Apple stuff. It's of course really nice to have screws. I really wonder what is the obsession with all the glue, except plant obsolescence. There's two plastic halves that cover the screws, but maybe we first... Okay, let's first, before I snap this plastic on it, let's first test that it still works after my Correcting the solder joint and nothing is 
making contact there, short circuiting something. And we have a mouse that we did not yet have before. So we can snap these two plastic pieces on there that came off just here and there. The question is, are they symmetrical? Hmm. Okay, maybe they were not symmetrical, maybe the top half is slightly shorter where the cable comes out. So you can just snap them off like so very carefully. Oh yeah, this is slightly round there at the top corner. These halves were also really sticky and I used some alcohol to clean this. So maybe originally there was some rubber stuff that came off with the alcohol now, but obviously it's better not sticking than the soft plastic stuff. So yeah, we got ourselves a functional mouse that only has one mouse button. Yay! Funny thing just to repair this one mouse that probably everyone hated the most. But yeah, so that's the mouse repair of the day. Now I have the other video to film that I actually wanted to do and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you learned something and don't forget to subscribe for all the next videos to come.